Hey my lovelies, I hope you're all safe and well. It's Mitch here. I'm just coming on to do this week's Facebook card reveals for you all. So, if you were drawn to card number one, we're going into the Five of Swords and Game Over. Now this was Monday's guidance reading card for those of you that caught my Monday's guidance reading video. And if you haven't, it might be worth going back over to check that out. Um, so Five of Swords, when it shows, it's really highlighting that this is the end of something, you know, the battle is done, you have come out of something, there's a kind of um, a conquest, a defeat, a hollow victory, and you can walk away from something, you don't have to allow things to reattach, to, to reattach. you don't have to keep getting brought back into negative energies or secondary energies or repetitive patterns so something is literally coming to an end you can clear it down you can move out of that energy you can walk away with your head up high don't be tempted to have the last word the last say don't let pride get the better of you don't let that little sort of voice in your head want to go back in and just reattach it or reattack with something if it's done if it's over accept it walk away don't keep kind of giving or sacrificing your spirit, your soul, your power, because essentially when we do that, what tends to happen is we sort of put ourselves back into trauma. Essentially, we essentially sort of go back into a space that actually we have come come out of and it's it's been successful. The win might not be a win in the way that you wanted it to be or you might not have the closure exactly in the way that you ideally would have wanted. But if it sets you free from something limitating or something negative, accept it's done, it's dusted, it's over, move forward. OK, so at the bottom there, it says, do you want to play the game again? Yes or no. Think very carefully about if you do want to do that again. And if you don't lay those swords to rest, you know, and just move forward with your life in the best way that you kind of can. That serves and works for you. So an interesting one. Really interesting it's coming out again. So if you've been drawn to card number one, you're really being reminded of this message. Because like I say, we had this on Monday's guidance reading. So I find that quite interesting. Now, I did warn you guys that this deck is a bit rude. One of the cards coming in, it's not actually the rudest. This is quite mild for, for some of these cards. Trust me. But this is uh, one of the slightly more ruder ones. So if you've been drawn to number two, then... We're going into the energy of lovers. Not really rude, just a little bit, Ooh, you know. Well, not what I expect you would normally see in the tarot, that was all. So the lovers card then, it's all about for you guys, if you've been drawn to this, self-care. As I say so often, the best relationship always has to start from ourself to ourself before we can give it out externally. So it may be for you guys, if you've been drawn to this card, that you're looking at connections, you're looking at the inputs of energy. Where are you giving? Where are you receiving your energy? Are you getting the best experiences? Now, obviously, secondary stuff with the lover's card, yes, they can link into relationships as well. So if you're somebody that is single, maybe you are at a point where you are ready to sort of welcome in a new love, a new romance. Maybe you're someone that thought that would never happen. I'm hearing a lot of stories lately from people that sort of had written themselves off. And perhaps because they maybe had been working on that self-care, that self-value. But all of a sudden relationships are happening out of the blue or you know, connections are sort of uh, coming together. So you might fall into that category. And if you are, embrace it, celebrate it. Because, you know, whilst we're here on physical earth, I think, you know, receiving the energy of love is one of the foundation levels of, of what we were meant to have. We're meant to experience that, really. But I also know that some people really deny themselves accessibility to that if they've been hurt or let down or if they've lost people close to them through grief, um, variations of stuff, you know. But lovers is definitely there. So connections are definitely um, being explored, are definitely being reached. But self-care, self-value in the first instance. Now, if you're with a partner already, maybe there's some attention needed on your relationship. And it could be that maybe there is a bit more kind of passion needed to bring it back into to life, to sort of inject a bit of a boost of something. Maybe it's that. And for some of you, maybe the relationship's got a little bit kind of stale or it's reached a point where it's become a little bit tricky to negotiate. And maybe there are some other conversations that need to be had because lovers isn't always about coming together. Sometimes it can also be that maybe 
you might really love a person but you might have reached a stage of life where you're no longer in love with that person so there's that side of things with the lovers card as well but definitely there's a focus on relationships making sure it's all working in the way that it needs to and if there is some room for improvement or if there is some conversation to be had don't delay, don't put it off, don't pretend it's not happening. If it needs to be addressed, address it, deal with it. So like with the mirror ball, you can keep shining and be fabulous. And finally, as we're moving into card number three, we're going into the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, when she comes in, she's all about sort of looking at how you want to make your money work for you. There's this flow, there's this wave of abundance, prosperity. So it may be for some of you guys, if you've been drawn to card number three, that finances are in a really good place or they may be starting to flourish and materialise for you if they've been a little bit tested, if they've been a little bit challenged in recent months. Queen of Pentacles is quite nurturing, she's quite healing, but she's also quite determined to succeed. So this is really focusing on how you're making your money work for you and, you know, are you getting the best return from your finances? It comes in a lot when people are perhaps venturing into a sort of freelance career path. Maybe some of you are going down a self-employed sort of road or journey, or maybe some of you have got projects or ideas about how you want to make money work best for you and harness those things, make them work for you 100%. Don't rely on somebody else to sort of, you know, financially kind of give you that security. Be the ruler, the doorkeeper of your own destiny. So take action from a financial space if you need to. But if you are in that flow of abundance and if money does feel like it's reached a point where it's a lot more comfortable than before, brilliant. Harness it, embrace it and, um, you know, know that you've worked hard to get there. You're entitled to what you're putting your investments, your energy into. So another interesting card. So I'm going to leave these with you. I hope they resonate. I hope they make a little bit of sense. Stay well, stay safe, stay fab. Just a couple of reminders that I am going to be in Hungerford this Saturday at Heart Song. I think there may be one or two spaces left for readings. So if you'd like to come and see me there, drop Evelyn or drop the page a message and we can get you booked in. That would be great to see you. I am in Trowbridge tomorrow night at Colour and Crystals, the new shop run by Joe, but I am fully booked for readings there. But there is going to be a second date that we're putting together for February. So keep an eye on that. I just want to say as well, thank you so much for everybody that is buying tickets for the tour. Tickets are flying out left, right and centre. So I'm really, really excited to launch the next Spirit Magic tour starting on the 10th of February over at the Swan Pub or Swan Hotel, really, in uh, just on the edge of Salisbury. So I'm really, really looking um, forward to seeing you guys there. If you're coming to that, it's going to be a fabulous night. It's a beautiful pub, great food. So if you do want to sort of get there a bit earlier, have um, some, you know, lovely food before the actual show, that would be really, really cool. And if you're still umming and ahhing, there's still time to buy tickets for that one and get involved. Sherborne is selling mega fast. I think that's nearly sold out. Bath is nearly sold out. Glastonbury is looking pretty cool as well. So they're all starting to take off. Um, so it's going to be a cool one. What else do I need to say? My dog Tarot. If you're interested, there's going to be an initial print run of 100 copies. I've nearly got it all lined up and ready to roll. So I'm, I am going to be opening up ordering books for that very soon um, because it's going to take, you know, a little while. I'm going to quote around sort of um, four to five weeks for, for the deck. It, in theory, it'd probably be a lot sooner, but I'm going to quote sort of four to five weeks just to safeguard myself in terms of printing, getting things posted and everything else. But I'm mega, mega excited for that because I just think it's going to be such a cool deck and it's going to make a massive difference because remember, half the deck, half the profits of the deck will go directly towards Somerset and um, Dorset Animal Rescue Centre. So on the first print run, I'm anticipating to um, ideally get for the guys at least over a thousand pounds, you know, profit for them or sort of uh, donation for them. So it's going to be amazing. So if you want to sort of book a pre-book a set, let me know and we can sort of pop you on the list. I will require payment up front. And then obviously when we reach that, I can put the order through and it's all going to be amazing. So yes. So love and blessings. Have a cool week. Look after yourselves and um, I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye for now.